Creating Accessible PDF Forms Chapter 3, Tagging Form Fields This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. We have ensured both the visual and auditory form is accessible. Now it is time to learn how to tag the form fields. Each form field must have a corresponding form tag with an OBJR or object reference child component. To add form field tags to a document, you must first click on the tags icon at the top of the tag tree. Failure to start the process by clicking on tags will cause additional problems down the road. With tags highlighted, click on the options menu. Choose Find. Then select Unmarked Annotations from the drop-down menu. Select either Search Page or Search Document. It is usually best to create accessible forms one page at a time, but that preference can be left up to the remediator. Choose Find. The first form field will be selected. Choose Tag Element. Choose Form from the drop-down menu. Choose OK. The next form field will be automatically selected. You then repeat the process of tag element, choosing form as the type. You will do this for all the form fields. Note, the forms fields may not be identified in the final correct order on the form. They are identified in the order in which they were created. If any form fields were automatically generated by Adobe, they will be identified first. At this point in the process you simply want to ensure that all form fields, text fields, check boxes, radio buttons, etc. have a form tag created. A title for the form field is not necessary, however, some people find it helpful when creating an accessible form. The title is only for the remediator and does not affect accessibility. Continue this process until all form fields are found and tagged. Note. If you chose search page recommended, you will need to repeat this process on every page of the form. What next? You have tagged all of the form fields. But all of the form tags are sitting at the bottom of your tag tree. You have to move them to their correct place in the tag tree. In chapter 1, we discussed the importance of ensuring each section of text has its own tag. We will see why this is important now. To move a tag to the correct place, you can use either the cut and paste method or the click and drag method. We will demonstrate both. Before we get started, let's ensure each section of text before and after a form field is separated. If you did this in chapter 1, you can skip this section of the chapter. In this example, all of the text associated with those six form fields is in one tag. We need to separate the tags into five separate P tags. First, click on the tag in the tag tree. This is important so that you can easily find the new tags you are about to create. By highlighting this P tag, the new tag will appear right below it. Right click on the P tag and choose New Tag from the drop down menu. Choose the type from the drop-down menu. In most cases in this step, this will be a paragraph tag, but may vary depending on the form you are working on. Repeat this step for as many new tags as you need. In this example we will need four new tags. There are five sections of text, but we already have one P tag in the tag tree. Your tag tree now looks like this. There are four empty P tags that we just created. Now we need to add text to these tags. Select the first tag that was just created. Highlight the text on the document you intend to tag. Right click again on the tag in the tag tree, ensuring that the tag and the text are both still highlighted, and choose Create Tag from Selection. The text should now be in a container within the P tag. Note. Sometimes this process does not work the first time. You may need to repeat it to get it to work. Repeat until all text is in a separate tag. Now, we are ready to move the form tags to the correct place in the tag tree. 
When deciding where the form field tag goes, we need to mimic the visual form. Most text field form tags will follow the P tag, such as in this case. County of, then the form field. Notice date, then the form field. Etc. Most checkbox form tags will precede the text, such as in this example. Text for the question, then checkbox form field, text for yes. Checkbox form field, text for no. One way to move the form tags is to simply click and drag the tag to the correct place in the tag tree. It is almost always preferable to have the form tag on the same line in the tag tree as the p tag it follows, rather than embedding the form tag within the p tag. Another way of moving tags is the cut and paste method. First, select the form tag you would like to move. Right click and choose cut. Navigate to the tag above where the cut tag belongs. Right click and choose paste. Continue moving all of the form field tags to the correct place in the tag tree. Once your form fields are all in the correct order, walk the tag tree one last time to verify the correct placement. With a form, after you walk the tag tree you must also check the tab order of the document. Most always the form fields should be identified in the same order as how their tags appear in the tag tree. Start at the top of the form and hit the tab button. You should see the first form field be highlighted. Then continue hitting the tab button and ensure all form fields are highlighted in the correct order. In the rare situation where the tab order is different than the tag order, click on Prepare Form and in the menu, click on the drop down and ensure order tabs by structure is checked. If everything went well, you will now have an accessible form, and you just need to perform a full accessibility check to verify. This check will be covered in Chapter 4. Forms Frequently Asked Question Sometimes, a form field may not be tagged, and searching for unmarked annotations yields no results. What can I do? Let's learn how to address this problem if it arises. The county of form field is not in the tag tree. Yet no results show up when searching for unmarked annotations. First you are going to click on tags at the top of the tag tree, just like we did the first time we added the form fields. Then we are going to navigate to the content panel. You may need to add the option if you haven't used the content panel before. Navigate to the page of the missing form field in the content panel. Open the annotations. Navigate to the form field that is not tagged. The form field will be highlighted in the document. Once the form field is selected in the content panel, return to the tag tree. Right click on the tags icon and choose Create Tag from Selection. Choose Type, Form. Then select OK. Move the newly created tag from the bottom of the tag tree to the correct place in the tag tree. Chapter 4 will cover the finishing touches in ensuring the form is fully accessible. Why do you need to tag the form fields? Form field tagging determines the logical reading order of a document. Otherwise the tooltips for untagged form fields will not be read. For more information about this topic, or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility and Policy Unit at Accessibility policy unit at dss.ca.gov.